think she has said a word in her whole life about the national economy, which uh, contributes to making this one of the oddest choices in the history of presidential politics. I think this may go down as the most peculiar vice presidential choice there has ever been. Well, expound on that a little more for me, because if I were a Republican strategist I mean, standing here, I would say she's got five kids. It's a woman who has managed, has executive experience. You know the drill. You've heard them around the clock coming on uh, to talk about that. Not, so what makes it odd for you? Look, they were selling. They were selling themselves as the uh, team, the ticket of experience. That's out the window. They're selling themselves as the ticket of steady habits. That's out the window. They're selling them as the ticket of people who are ready to deal with America in a foreign policy crisis. That's out the window. What we have now is back to what you might call fundamentalist, born-again, uh, backwoods uh, values of the United States of America. That's fine. I love those values. I'm all for them. I believe in intelligent design, which I, I'm probably the only person ever to be on CNN who believes in that. But let us, but let us be fair about this. She's a very different person from what John McCain was advertising himself as. And uh, in terms of the economy, as far as I know, she has absolutely zero background in it. That's fine. Neither did John F. Kennedy. But somebody's got to get in there and fill her in on it really quick. Is that doable? I mean, again, back to the speech writing thing, which is how we began. Uh, that's a lot to learn before it's a, 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 it's a speech it's a, debate. It's mm -hmm. a lot to learn. It's a lot to learn before a presidential campaign where you're going to have people, very smart people from the media, picking her apart little bit by little bit. Uh, she's got to have around her very, very smart people telling her the basics of the economy, telling her the basics of foreign policy night and day. She's going to have to be like that business in the Superman movie where the little super baby was traveling through space and they're giving him a tape of all the knowledge in the world for him to absorb. And she's going to have to have people like Martin Feldstein around, from Harvard, very, probably the best Republican economist in America, around her every second drilling into her head what she's got to know. A lot to learn, she Benson. should have Henry Kissinger. She should have Henry Kissinger babysitting her.